Kia ora, welcome along. I am talking right now to two members of the Jordan Luck Band, one being Jordan Luck himself and Joe Walsh. Good evening, beautiful Angelina. How are you guys? Very well. How are you, Bordy? I'm, I'm great, thanks. I'm awesome. Um, you guys have just released, you've got a brand new single and a brand new video clip, which is why we're talking on the telly Purchasable this Monday. Really? Indeed. How, what, iTunes? Worldwide. Or? iTunes, Spotify will be on everywhere from Monday. Cool, that's awesome. Okay, so make sure you take that on board, dear viewers. Right, um, let's talk about the, the video clip because first up, you directed it. Is that right? Or yeah. shot it? Or? Yeah, we, yeah, we kind of went a bit. It's, the, the song itself is a bit of a sort of punky, good honest punk rock and roll type really song cool. so we yeah. just went with a kind of well we couldn't get Spielberg or Ron Howard basically so we got a punk director in yeah <laughs> it was all in the shoes <laughs> show is quite inexpensive <laughs> yeah it, just some sake and a pizza I said I would do it for free thousand dollars and he took it as free free okay I, I certainly mean <laughs> The accent, maybe. Yeah. So tell me about the album and, and, and the single itself as well. Are you guys working together to create it, or is it just you know being that it's the Jordan Light Band? Are you just the um, prime writer? A lot of collaboration on cool. this one. Uh, by the time that the album is released, I'd say all of us will have um, had a hand in the songwriting, mm -hmm. which is a glorious position to come from. Yeah. And so for people who don't know, you've got Joe Walsh here, who's also in Echo Park, and then um, Brian Bell, a formerly of Dead Flowers fame, and then um, Rich Mixture, and... Uh, heaps of bands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sharp, and Rock and Roll Machine. D4. And Beaver, yeah, D4. Beaver, D4 and stuff. Beaver yeah. from D4, so yeah. that's quite a crazy background of musical collaborations there, I guess. It sounds like us, actually, when you put those bands <laughs> together. It's like a blender of those, of those units. Awesome. And so, I mean, I suppose since you've been in the exponents and you've been doing this thing, would you say your idea of writing Jordan has changed? Have you done anything differently or do the songs still come like they used to? It is different, uh, mainly because it's collaborative. Right. Uh, I'll put lyrics that wouldn't normally go into a tune uh, because the tune or the chords are written by Brian or Joe or Rich or different pieces. So yeah. But come, you come at it from a different angle lyrically. Yeah. And, and lyrically, where you know, from the forthcoming album that'll be out at some stage, you know, what kind of stuff well, this song's up these days? This song's not atypical luck. It's about a, the protagonist is a is a broken-hearted, divorced fella who's trying to get his life back together. He's lost his baby, yeah. and, wow. he, and he's in a position where he's just own, he's only happy if if his partner is is in the same boat, same position. Um, what about so live shows? You say Lee Sumul potentially in July? Yep. So look to the Facebook page for all the details? Yeah, just stay in touch with the Facebook stuff starting to come up. We've been sort of quiet for the last couple of months, but we're um, hoping, hoping to get rocking again soon. And how do the live shows go? I mean, you know, you get your, your usual crowds that used to probably follow you way back from in the 80s and stuff. That is another along. thing about all these different um, aspects or bands that people have been in. Yeah, the audience is quite um, diverse, yeah. So you'll be getting new listeners as well as the old faithful. You always get your new listeners, it's yeah. really great. Yeah. And people are asking for new songs, which is good. I mean, obviously we play in all the big exponent stuff, but um, <laughs> I was gonna pe ask, yep. people, um, people are asking for new songs, so it's sure. been a good drive to get this it's, album finished. We well, had a great gig in Wollstone in Christchurch recently, and that was where a, a magical audience member came up and said, I really love that new song you've done. I said, great. Which one? He went, let there be rock. Oh. And I went, yeah, that's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not on the album. Nice. <laughs> oh, that could be a great cover. All right, so the info for people that are following, a, uh, a show in July, hopefully, at least yes. formal. Album due out maybe springtime. Definitely. We're about to get to record it. It's done. It's, oh, it's, it's done, done. It's yeah. Good. Yeah, all, yeah. Most of, all the, it's yeah. Just, I'm the slow one. With lyrics back to that. Okay, it, right. This collaborative thing, I'm putting a spin on, <laughs> And the lyrics is quite unique. Okay. Just some vocals to be done and it's finished. But oh, we recorded cool. the rest of it in Roundhead. Okay, right, at Roundhead Choice. And so, um, any title as yet or just still to be decided? It's a, that's, that's a good question. Something. Jordan will come up with something genius. So begin with Jake. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Cool. laughs> Alright, um, so I think that's all the things that we've We've sussed it, we've covered out, so uh, look out for it around September. And the premiere of the video on the Sunday. Right um, Which right. is only if you're lonely. Thank you very much guys for coming along. Remember you can buy this from Monday. Here is only if you're lonely. Purchase now. <laughs>